what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video she likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine she likes no say say i love you all the time roses at your feet baby girl be mine baby girl be mine yeah hey Pick up your phone, I need your attention My girl so bad, we call her detention I am so glad we moved beyond friendship I am so glad your mama like me Sweat up with Cupid, told her fight me I stole your love, he shot my heart I'm losing breath, it's getting I have an appointment this morning And um, figured I would do my makeup first Because every time you guys see me I have no makeup on and then I go back and I edit the video and I'm like oh, I look gross <laughs> so I already did my makeup um, I'm going to try and crimp my hair I don't know how it's gonna turn out I've been seeing a lot of these girls using like something like this um, for like some mermaid curls I already did use this a few nights ago and this little mechanism was like so far down and it made my hair look Awful. It looked like I had curly hair, like naturally curly hair, and then I like brushed it out. So it looked really bad. So hopefully with this out more, um, it'll be like deeper. I don't know. So I wanted to um, start this vlog now just because it's, it's going to be a long day. This is probably going to be a long vlog i don't know i am nesting you guys i am officially like in nesting mode um which is kind of cute kind of exciting <laughs> i'm finally here i didn't think i was ever going to be in the nesting mode just because like pretty much throughout my whole pregnancy i have just been so tired unmotivated to do absolutely anything and everything so I didn't think I was ever gonna be in the nesting mode. Getting ready for baby. I have my 30, 36 week appointment today. I'm hoping they're gonna check to see if I am dilated. Cause I don't know, I feel like I am. But like, how do you know for sure? You know what I mean? I don't know if they're gonna give me like another sonogram before the baby gets here or what. Um, the night that I went to the emergency room for labor and delivery, I did have a sonogram and she said everything looked okay, but she didn't give me much more than that. Like she didn't tell me what position he was in, which I know that he's head down for my 32 week appointment. I know that he's definitely head down already. I don't know, sometimes I have like a lump in my belly where like he is on this side, but then I feel like a lot of pressure like on my pelvis here. And like it looks like two lumps and it looks like he's kind of like in a diagonal position like his feet are up here and then like his body is kind of like going this way so I, i'm not sure if his head is in the canal i mentioned that i was having a lot of lightning feeling experiencing a lot of lightning um in my pelvis area pelvic area and i haven't been experiencing that too too much anymore which is weird because I feel like if I was experiencing it, it would be happening more so now than ever. This still looks really crazy. Maybe it just doesn't look good on short hair, you know? That's what I'm thinking. So I was laying in bed this morning waiting for Michael to get up because he had to go to work early today. Making a list of all the things that I need to do today. And I thought, wow, like I am literally nesting right now like i am in nesting mode I'm, i want to get everything done before he gets here i feel like i have so much to do i'm 37 weeks today and now i'm starting to feel like baby can come at literally any minute which in reality i probably have some more time left but starting to freak out just just a little bit you know just a little bit i am gonna go finish my hair off camera just because I don't want to be babbling and make this intro any longer than it already is. So this is the final result of my hair. I don't really know if I should be recording right now because technically like I'm on base, but um, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, really quickly about the hair. Um, I did it earlier this morning, so it's been a few hours. I think it had some time to calm down. I didn't like it at first. Um, it's not too bad. I still think maybe a deep wave would have been better or... 
Maybe my hair is just really, really short. I don't know. But I just got back into the car after my appointment. That's why I'm really out of breath. I basically walked all over the hospital just now. Um, I got the baby, the baby's like birth certificate information kind of like filled out and stuff. Since we have a name for him, I just went ahead and did that. What is going on with my freaking seatbelt? So, baby is in like a really weird position right now. My midwife said that if I were to go into labor in the position that he's in now, it'd be a very hard and long labor. So basically, his back is not to my stomach like where he's supposed to be. Um, his head is not facing my back, if that makes sense. Um, he's facing that way, so he's he's in a really weird position. She said that it would be really painful. She said he could turn on his own. I don't know. She said I can still give birth to him vaginally um, in this position, so I don't know. I'm not looking forward to a painful and longer pushing session, but um, you know, what can we do? We did a sonogram, obviously. That's how she was able to tell his position. Everything was fine. Everything looks good. He's doing healthy. Um, he's doing healthy. He is healthy. I have scheduled the next three appointments. Hopefully, baby comes earlier than that. I think he's gonna come August 25th. I have a feeling he's gonna be here August 25th. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. She didn't check for dilation because, um, she said it's still too soon to check for that. I don't know. I think I'm going to have him soon. I don't know. <laughs> I really wanted her to check for dilation, but whatever. She was like, yeah, we don't normally do it yet. You know, what's going to happen is you're probably not going to be dilating and it's going to break your heart. Okay, guys. So I am hanging out in the baby's room right now and I got my breast pump yesterday. So I kind of want to show you what I got here. Um, I got this through my insurance. Um, it was free. It comes in this. I just picked this out. I don't really know much about breast pumps, so I just kind of got whatever one I thought was decent. I got the Motif Luna, so it looks like this. I do have to be plugged in to a wall, but I did come into the baby's room because I wanted to show you my breast pump. Um, but I do have to finish packing the hospital bag. Michael's gonna come home soon and we are actually gonna go look at a few cars. So basically, we want to trade in my Jeep, hopefully for an equal trade or something like that, or maybe even get some money in our pockets, but I don't know. We went to go see a car last night. We went to Kia and I found a Kia Sorento. Um, I'm looking for an SUV. I definitely don't want like a car or anything. Um, I want an SUV. Definitely don't want a minivan. It's, we're not there yet. We're not that family yet. So the Kia Sorento was really beautiful. It was a uh, 2020 and it had a third row seating option. I was really sold on that because when we go back to the States, um, that is going to be the car that I bring home with me. The Air Force will ship that back for us. Um, so I was thinking, you know, like a long-term kind of car, you know, so with that third row option, I can put those seats down and have enough room for the carriage, enough room for the dogs to be back there if needed with the baby in the, you know, regular seating. Um, when we have family that visits, we can all just take one car. Right now with the car seat in the Jeep, we can't all fit in my, in my Jeep, the four of us, so... It's really small back there. I think when Michael gets home, we're gonna look for a Mitsubishi Outlander because they have a third row seat. So I don't know, I haven't seen what they look like in person. We're gonna go take a look and see. So basically I'm trading in the Jeep because one, it's too small. Two, I have a soft top cover Jeep and it's a real pain in the neck. Let me just tell you, there's no insulation in the car. It's very, very, very hot. There's no AC in the back. I like driving the Jeep. It's, I, I love it. I mean, like it was my dream car. I love it, but we're just kind of outgrowing it as a family now. To get into the trunk, you have to literally unzip everything and take everything apart. And that's just not gonna be ideal. Like it's even not ideal now with like groceries and stuff like that. So I'm looking for a more 
smooth ride something more long term something a little bit bigger so i am gonna go quickly fill up the rest of our hospital bag put michael's stuff in it and um yeah i want to get it ready to put into the car so that we are ready to go to the hospital it has been so many hours later you guys finally home it's 5 30 we have not eaten dinner yet and i am starving but we just got back from the car dealership we were there for like five hours um and so we got a new car ah! so excited i'm gonna show you guys right now i'm still in the nursery because that's where i left my camera totally forgot to bring it with me you know the deal here she is So this is a um, Mitsubishi Outlander. It's locked. Um, this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, and then we got the baby's car seat back there. We got put together. The third row is back there. So we have a really spacious trunk. Maybe I'll do a car tour um, in the next video. If I can remember, I want to like set up my Bluetooth and like sit around and play with the car for a little bit and see what it does and stuff. But We've been out for so many hours and I'm so tired. I don't even want to come out here and try and mess with it right now. So, so I packed all of Michael's bag for the hospital now. And um, obviously I still need like the last minute things, toiletries and my camera, chargers and things like that. So that's probably going to be up here, but I'm probably going to put the boppy and the baby's diaper bag in the car just so that it's there that way we don't have to worry about getting all the last minute things into the hospital bag along with the boppy and everything else so figure just have those in the car ready to go so that i don't have to worry about it michael is downstairs working on the new bench that we're going to be putting here in my room and i was hoping i was going to be able to show you guys that tonight i did not think that we were gonna be at the dealership for like five hours. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and see you guys in the next one.